dedicated to the strength of the nation. Proudly, we hail. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. This is C.P. McGregor speaking. Welcome again to your theater of stars, Proudly We Hail, soon to reach you as a full half-hour program sponsored by the United States Army and Air Force. Our story is titled The Strange Partnership, and we're proud to present the outstanding star of motion pictures, Henry Fonda as Bill Williams. And now, Act One. The Geneva M lay alongside the wharf in the Caribbean seaport. She was a small freighter, a loading, and her gunwale showed it as it sank closer to the waterline. And because of the talk of revolution brewing in Santa Clarice, the Geneva M's destination, owner skipper Bill Williams had suddenly become a very big man. Yeah, I certainly had. Everyone was afraid my boat might be the last one into Santa Clarice. As a result, every shipper in town wanted to get his cargo moved and paid for before the lid blew off. They beat a path to the door of my cabin aboard ship, including a fellow named Crocker I'd seen around town. Crocker wasn't the kind of a guy you ordinarily like to do business with. Hello, Bill. Crocker, what's on your mind? Anchovies. I got three tons, Bill, all canned and crated. I'm looking for a way to get them up to Santa Clarice. You're stuck too, huh? <laughs> More than you know. Well, I wish I could help you. What's this, a uh, turn down? There's nothing else I can do. I got my load. But you haven't even listened to my proposition. Shoot. I, um, I'll give you $1,000 cash, in addition to the freight billing, to handle those anchovies for me. Pretty hard to pass up. You must really believe those rumors coming from Santa Clarice. I'm taking no chances. Well, Bill? It's a deal. Good. Now, if you'll just sign this agreement... Agreement? What do you mean? I don't want somebody coming to you with a better proposition, Bill. I don't want my cargo aced out. You don't know me very well, do you, Crocker? Business is business. Yeah, the pen. Whoa. Uh, that make you happy? Very happy. Thank you, Bill. Ah, get lost. For a thin dime, I'd throw you right off this boat. <laughs> I know that, Bill, but not for a thousand dollars. Yeah. I hated to take that dough, particularly when there were others who didn't have that kind of dough who needed their cargo moved, too. But maybe Crocker was right. Business was business. The next day, I hurried things. I wanted a clear port. Hey, Bill. Where do those anchovies go? Put them in the after hole. What's slowing us down? Uh, there's a gear up in the winch. Well, where's Juan? Where the devil is that ship's engineer of mine? I don't know. Must be taking a long siesta or something. We scoured the town for him. Let me tell you, when I get my hands on him, I'll break every oh, bone in his... Oh, Bill, you would not do that to your good friend. You. Where's there's Bill? Three days off the ship. Where the devil you been? Oh, I, I, I have been working. Well, isn't that ducky? Do you realize there's work on this ship? Oh, but this was important. Oh, it was. Oh, yes. My cousin, he has a boat. A skipper, he is terrific. As a mechanic, stinks. So I help him. Well, did you have to take all week to do it? But this was very important installation in my cousin's boat. Besides, what is all the rush? They say the commission is holding every boat in the harbor. Where'd you hear that? In town. They say it's because of the trouble up at Santa Clarice. Yeah, well, listen, my little wandering ship's engineer. Forget the rumors. Get that winch fixed so we can get the ship loaded. Let me worry about getting us out of here. Juan had the winch fixed in no time at all, and we began loading the crates of anchovies in the after hold. I could see gleaming cans in between the slats of the crates. Crocker hung around most of the day watching us load. That afternoon, I went down to Harbor Commission. The office was closed, but the hold order on all boats was posted. That was a headache, but not like the one I came back to. Juan was standing on deck, the last crate of Crocker's anchovies moving overhead on the way to the hold when I saw the cable slip. I yelled a warning. Look out, Juan, look out! 
Oh. Are you all right, Juan? Oh, yes. I, I am fine, but, but with the crate. Not to mention my deck. Bill, look here. Where? Inside the crate. The guns. Holy smoke. This is an arsenal. <laughs> Brother, was it? The cans were dummies for the weapons concealed underneath them, every type of small arm imaginable, and all ticketed for the revolutionists at Santa Clarice. No wonder the hold order on every boat in the harbor. The commission had wind of what was going on. We patched the crate up, lowered it into the hold, and I told Juan to sit tight. I headed for the commission office, but I only got a few steps. Crocker, who'd been around most of the day, came aboard. Everything all right, Bill? Everything's dandy, Crocker. We just got a peek inside one of those crates of anchovies. What? Yeah. You want to go down to the commission with me, or do you want to wait until they pick you up? I don't think either alternative is necessary, Bill. As a matter of fact, I think it'd be very unwise for you to report this. You do, huh? Yes, I do. Particularly since we're partners in this little enterprise. What do you mean? I anticipated trouble, Bill. That's why I had to sign that agreement the other morning. Remember? So what? That agreement happened to be a declaration of cargo ownership since filed with the commission, as is necessary here. We're in this together, Bill. If I sink, you sink with me. We pause briefly from our story, A Strange Partnership, starring Henry Fonda, to bring you an important message. Men, you've been waiting for it, and here it is. You can pick your training in the Army or Air Force before you enlist. That's right, you have your choice. You choose your Army or Air Force technical school before you sign up. And here's why you can do this. Skilled men are needed to handle the complicated new weapons and equipment of our modern Army. Training is required for the alert young man of today to handle those Army jobs. Therefore, the Army and Air Force will allow you to choose the type of training you like most, and if you qualify, will give you that technical training. That's why so many ambitious young men today are choosing an Army or Air Force career, because they can learn a skill or trade valuable in civilian life later as well as in the service now. Get the complete details on training opportunities available right away. Ask at your local Army and Air Force recruiting station. And now, Act Two of The Strange Partnership, starring Henry Fonda as Bill Williams, owner skipper of the Geneva M. Bill who unwittingly signed himself into part ownership of a hole full of contraband weapons, looked for a way out of his dilemma. And the way came easily. It certainly did. After I kicked myself around the block a few times for not first reading what I signed, I saw the light. The only thing to do was to play ball with Crocker until the ship was cleared. Once at sea, it'd be a comparatively simple matter to give those fireworks a big drink of water. I was wearing a grin as I returned to the ship from town the next morning. Crocker was aboard waiting for me. Well, you're really making yourself at home, Crocker. After all, Bill. Partners? Sure. By the way, I was looking over your crew list. You were? Yes. If you are what's happened, I think you're a little undermanned. I've added a few of my own. Whatever you say, Crocker. Matter of fact... I thought I'd go along, too, just to make sure our little enterprise goes as planned. Don't you trust me? Well, yes, Bill. Sometimes you're so impulsive. You got it all planned, haven't you? Almost. There's just one more hurdle, Bill. Clearance from the Harbor Commissioner. He'll be over here today to inspect cargo. I dare say it isn't necessary for me to caution you not to be impulsive when he looks into that after hold. <laughs> That was my partner speaking. I felt like a caged rat. Or maybe just a rat. Particularly when the commissioner came aboard and began his inspection. He'd been a very good friend of mine. We went through the ship. Juan, my ship's engineer, was standing near the afterhold as we approached. The 
commissioner was almost apologetic. Oh, I regret, Bill, that I must subject you to this indignity. I regret a few things myself, Commissioner. You see, our government is not in sympathy with the revolution and the men who make it possible. Uh, what do you have here in the after hold, those crates? Those are the anchovies, Commissioner. Oh, yes, yes. I saw in the declaration of cargo ownership that you and Mr. Crocker are shipping these together, Bill. That seems to be the general idea. Well, I should, under my orders, have these crates removed and opened. Oh, oh will that be necessary, Commissioner? Well, since Bill's name is on them, I don't think it will be. Now, if we can go below, I'll uh, sign your clearance. It was all I could stand. The fuse was lit, and I was ready to explode, regardless of the consequences. When suddenly the fire alarm rang out. We rushed up on deck. The smoke was pouring out of the after We could hear the siren of the fireboat as it came alongside. Juan was standing by the hold when we got there, and the fireboat had a hose down, pouring gallons of seawater into the hold. I guess Crocker was the most excited. What happened? Well, it's a fire. Can you not see the smoke? Well, you have to fill that hold up with seawater. We got to put a fire out, Crocker, and besides, what can it hurt? There's nothing down there with those crates of anchovies. Little seawater won't hurt them. Fill the hole for three days to pump it out. There's one way of making a water pistol out of a Tommy gun. Crocker went south, and I never saw him again. I didn't find out until we were finally underway how Juan had managed everything the day of fire. <laughs> the, the fire was easy. A few rags, a little oil. He seemed to be the answer to everything. It certainly was. And that fireboat pumping all that water. Mm -hmm. that, that is what I mean. I don't understand. Well, the skipper of the fireboat, he is my cousin. That was the new pump on his boat that I installed. He was so anxious to use it. The curtain falls in the final act of the strange partnership. Our star, Henry Fonda, will return for a curtain call after this timely message from Wendell Niles. You young fellows with a yen to travel, listen to this. You can choose an interesting army job in Japan or Korea. Or if you've had previous military service, you can choose assignment to the European theater. Or you veterans who don't wish overseas service can choose assignment right near home in your own army area for at least a year. For complete details on opportunities now available in the army, inquire tomorrow at your U.S. Army and Air Force recruiting station. Now here again is our star and our producer. The name Henry Fonda on a marquee is a promise of a stellar performance. We've had that promise fulfilled on Proudly We Hail. We're very grateful to you, Hank. Well, thank you, C.P. I enjoyed it. But I believe congratulations are in order. They tell me Proudly We Hail will soon be heard each week on a thousand radio stations from Maine to California, making it the most played program in the history of American radio. That's right, Hank, and we're very proud of the fact. We're proud, too announced that the theater of stars will soon be full-grown. What do you mean, C.P.? Beginning the first of the year, Proudly We Hail adds 15 minutes to become a complete half-hour dramatic show. Well, nice going on that, too. It couldn't happen to a show that's doing a more important job. But now, C.P., I'm sure your audience will want to know the show for next week. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, we've prepared for you a beautiful story of Christmas starring J. Carol Nash. Our drama will tell the simple yet inspiring story of the nativity and the great promise it brought to all mankind. I'm sure you won't want to miss our Christmas story on Proudly We Hail. Henry Fonda appeared to the courtesy of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee, who arranges for the appearance of all motion picture stars on this program. And now until next week, this is C.P. McGregor saying thanks for listening and cheerio from Hollywood. Hollywood.